Hello there and welcome to the new video where I want to show you something very interesting, something you should keep as your uh, handbook or as something bookmark, something which you need whenever you are developing visualization. So as you can see, this is a visual vocabulary. So in short, visual vocab, which has been created by Andy Cribble. So Andy is one of the very uh, big Tableau Zen Masters, I think multiple times he has been Tableau Zen Masters and a lot of um, contribution he has given. Uh, his company name is Wiz, Wiz BI, right? And uh, you can view more from Andy over here as well as he runs a very successful YouTube channel where he shares the information about uh, Tableau tips, right? So his uh, he has created this amazing book which I really liked. Uh, I recently figured it out uh, when I was looking for some inspirations from a charts perspective and all. So I figured this this workbook or when I searched on public.tabli.com, I saw this and I thought, you know, you should also know that, know this so that whenever you are creating um, any chart or you are thinking of creating any chart which needs to show the deviation, the correlation, the changes over time. Uh, ranking then you should be uh, basically having this as your handbook quickly refer it and figure which chart will going to make sense so the great part is that uh, along with showing the chart in these different tabs what he has done is he has shown this deviation what does the deviation means what does correlation mean suppose you are a beginner and you are trying to figure it out what is really uh, all of these charts really does then a basic information or a basic uh, definition of these chart which one can understand easily right and uh, and then look at the examples for example if i want to see what are my charts that i that i can create that is showing the deviation then i can come and click over here which basically goes to the sheet over here uh, that indicates uh, four different diff charts one is the diverging bar chart diverging stack bar chart, uh, spine chart and surplus deficit uh, fill chart. Uh, all of that you can show to view the deviation, right? So deviation is uh, which values are going on the here on the left side, on the right side or up and down. So the values that are deviating from the base, right? Similarly, the charts are here for the correlation and the five charts over here. One is scatter plot line plus column, connected uh, scatter plot, XY heat map and the bubble to show how values are related to each other or not. Similarly, you have uh, charts for the ranking, the six different charts, which you can, which can be shown uh, for the ranking. I'll show you in a minute how you can uh, further explore these uh, in case if you want to go deep down into it. Uh, I'll just cover this for quickly on the distribution chart. You have eight different types of charts you can see uh, that one can create and you may have seen all of these different types of charts in in the um, in the uh, you know Tableau public viz you know those uh, great and innovative viz where people show their skills about how amazing the data visualization is you know uh, over there. So changes over time that is more like over a period of time so you can see like 12 uh, different charts that basically shows uh, the changes over time is something one can visualize um, for, for showing the values over a period of time. Then part to whole, which is like a contribution. Uh, pie chart is something we all of us have been use, uh, used to of using it. But then what you can do is create these different types of charts as well to basically indicate the part of whole or how much the value has been completed like 32 percent completed or pie chart shows contribution stack part show, shows the contribution uh, then you have the magnitude specific chart so magnitude is the impact of a certain value here you have a comparison and down below is also something which is specific to the magnitude related metric uh, like parallel coordinates or radar chart or the proportional symbol all of that you know that something you can explore uh, and this is independent of the tool right now what you are seeing is very specific uh, to the chart that is that are created in Tableau but one can explore this in Power BI or any other you know, choice of a tool if it allows that flexibility but most of the tools allows these this much flexibilities these days or if not the custom charts are present 
spatial charts so you know something related to the maps and all is something which has been shown over here the eight different types right and finally the flow of the information like how the information is flowing or um, you know how the information is being constructed for example historically we have been uh, we are used to of using it the waterfall chart and then you know down below you have network chart which shows the flow of the information or the chord chart or the Sankey diagram one of the popular one used in many many visualizations uh, on the tableau public by by the experts so this is something which is very amazing what i feel present as a visual vocab the link for this is something which i will give it in the description make sure you check out other uh, very informative workbooks from the andy as well as his uh, youtube channel link uh, it's by the same name andy cribble and i'm sure that you will going to learn something new every single day and he he's a very frequent uh, you know um, he's he's very frequent in terms of uploading the videos uh, over the youtube and i'm sure that you know you will going to learn a lot and also you can follow him on the twitter he's he's also very active on the twitter so um you know something which is which i wanted to make sure that you know as as a developer and uh, hopefully this information you will find it useful and i'll meet you in the next video with some new topic